Okay, let's pull up our Jellyfish Cloud app. Now, if you are new to setting it up, you should see this screen. If you're having trouble or you had to reset your Wi-Fi, you should see this screen. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to do add new controller. And if you're seeing this other screen with five options, you're gonna go to Wi-Fi setup at the bottom. So now from this screen, we will go over to our settings, to our Wi-Fi settings, and then we're gonna click on um, the jellyfish signal that we see, okay, which is um, coming from our box, okay? So I'm gonna click that, and you'll have to type in Big Fish 10, and we're gonna hit join, okay? We're gonna let that connect up so we get a strong Wi-Fi signal there. Then we're gonna go over, okay? So let's go back to our app. We're gonna hit next up here. Now it's gonna try and find the correct Wi-Fi signals um, throughout the house or at, at your home or your business, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I if I have a 2.4 available, I'm always gonna choose that because the setup is so much easier and there's like less likely to have issues. So I'm gonna choose the 2.4, but your regular Wi-Fi could, will work as well. Now let's hit the next at the top. We're going to put in our password. We hit next and now it's going to start setting up the Wi-Fi connection. Now this should take three to five minutes. Be patient, stay um, close to your router um, or your box and then it should start to hook up. You'll see on the controller, it'll start saying connection and it'll start uh, doing the connection process from the controller as well. So now we're through it. Now it's gonna say adding to controller. And then sometimes if anything happens and your box is saying that it has, you're on this screen, but your box is saying asterisk like nine or eight up in the top right corner, just hit that X in the top and it'll refresh the app real quick. It'll come back in. And if any of this stuff kind of happens, all we need to do is close out the app and just reopen it again. Most of your problems can be solved by doing that. Okay, now we're connected to the internet because I know this because I have an asterisk nine in my top right corner, okay? And then instead of add new controller, now we're gonna go to add existing controller. Now it'll search for the controllers available on your network. So this is the new one. We're gonna hit add, set our controller name. Controller name doesn't la really matter. Um, this is just difference if you have relatives or you know an office or something to separate the controller names um, or an uh, exterior garage. But I just do home lights. Add that to your account. So now what it's doing is adding this controller to your cloud account. So now anybody can log in um, onto this. So now it said failed for some reason. Um, and it's just, but it probably worked. If it updated the name, it probably worked. So we're going to check and see if it did. Um, it, it's been having some glitches. Every time they do a no update, there's usually some glitches. Okay, so it didn't work. So we'll try it again and see if we can get it to go through. Add that again to the account. Just repeat the process if you do have any of these issues. Boom, done. So now we'll do finish adding controller and you should be set up and in on your account now. So now I can go through and I can turn on my lights and I can go and mess with it all um, just like it should work. Okay, now if you have already been connected on this controller before to your cloud, then this is a little bit different. You won't go to the add new controller page or, um, or add existing controller page. It's gonna go straight to this page where it may just go straight into the account, who knows? Um, it depends. So now all you do is reestablish the name, hit add to account. Um, at this page, if it freezes for a little bit, just go to the top left and hit that X 
and let it refresh. If it doesn't refresh, close out the app entirely and then reopen it. And that should give us the time to reboot and it'll pull up the app now and then you will be in and you'll be able to turn on your lights and mess with the account um, like everything is new.